Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from AnishTheFoins.com and today we're going to talk about the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. The Redmi 1S went on sale here in India early this month and Xiaomi has set quite the reputation for itself over here for having phones that are immense value for money. I managed to score myself a review copy and here's what I think of it. In case you want to know what's in the box, I did a quick unboxing video that you can check out uh, by clicking on the link that I've set right below in the description. Alright, starting with design, the Xiaomi Redmi 1S kind of looks like your basic rectangular smartphone nowadays. There's really nothing that distinct about it. It kind of looks pretty minimalistic. Some might even say boring, but I'm going to stick to simple. But some of y'all might actually prefer that really low-key style. In terms of build quality though, the phone is immensely solid, especially when you compare it to other phones that you get at this price range. In fact, going just by the build quality itself, some people might think this phone costs a lot more money. Measuring 137 by 69 by 9.9 millimeters and weighing in at 158 grams, the Xiaomi Redmi 1S is a relatively compact phone when you put it up against most current smartphones. Granted, it's not exactly a small phone, but it's much more comfortable to use, especially when you compare it to other phones nowadays. At the front, the Redmi 1S has a beautiful 4.7 inch, 720 p display that might not be the largest screen that you can get in this price range but this is definitely the only hd screen that you can get at this price range thanks to a resolution everything looks super sharp on the screen and you can see that text and icons all look really crisp there's a very decent 312 ppi of pixel density and the lcd display can also get really bright outdoors so it's easy to use under direct sunlight as well apart from that viewing angles are pretty good and the color reproduction is also mostly accurate that being said there's quite a lot of bezel all around the screen and the capacitive buttons below the screen don't light up at all unfortunately. Now there's been some speculation about what kind of glass the Redmi 1S uses. According to Xiaomi's VP Hugo Barra, the Redmi 1S uses Gorilla Glass 3 here in India but the official website says that it uses a Dragon Trail glass instead. I'm not sure if this is a big deal for you guys but some of you all might actually want to know that. Right, so it's a great screen for this price range and above the screen there's a 1.6 megapixel front facing camera along with a hidden proximity sensor, ambient light sensor and even a tiny notification LED that's hidden behind the earpiece. On the left side of the phone you won't find any buttons or thing at all keeping it very minimalistic and simple while on the right side you'll find the power lock button right over there the volume rocker button as well and you'll find a little notch to take off the back panel yes it's a removable back panel which I'll talk about in a second at the bottom you have the lower micro USB charging port with a tiny little pinhole for the microphone and at the top you just have the 3.5 mm audio jack at the back there's just the camera lens and single LED flash with the Mi logo right at the bottom there's also a very tiny loudspeaker grill at the side over here. The back panel is very soft touch matte material and is easy enough to take off. Once you get it off, you'll see that you have access to the dual SIM cards. Yes, this is a dual SIM card phone. There's also a micro SD card slot and there's the giant battery which is also removable in case you need that. All in all, the design of the Xiaomi Redmi 1S is pretty okay. Some of you all might think it's a little bit boring but I kind of think it's okay. If anything, the Redmi 1S is incredibly well built and there's no creaks or squeaks anywhere on this phone. It's very well constructed. And not to mention it's in a very convenient size where it can easily fit into your pocket as well. Coming to hardware, the Xiaomi Redmi 1S is powered by a 1.6 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 400 processor with an Adreno 305 GPU, 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of internal memory with a micro SD card slot. Those specs combined with MIUI means that everything is pretty quick and smooth all around. In day-to-day -day operation, the phone was mostly lag-free and the UI is really smooth when you navigate around. With CPU intensive things like playing a really high quality game, you might see some frames drop because the phone can't seem to handle that much pressure. For example, with Asphalt 8, I saw a lot of dropped frames all around. So this phone might not be for the very intense games or apps, but basic games like Angry Birds works just fine. For benchmark results, you can check out the blog post over on unleashthephones.com. I feel like most of the issue with performance on the Redmi 1S has to do with the 1GB of RAM because there's usually only about 400-ish MB of free RAM at any time. So if you remember to clear the memory before you play a game, performance is generally much better. You also want to remember to kill off all the background running apps in case you want to keep memory free. Apart from that, out of the 8GB of internal memory, there's only about 6GB that you can actually use. But there's a micro SD card slot, so it's not a big deal as such. You also can't move apps to the micro SD card slot right now, unfortunately. Specifically talking about the dual SIM, the SIM card slot number one supports 3G, but SIM card slot number two only supports 2G. There's also Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi, and GPS all available. All right, coming to software, the uh, Xiaomi Redmi 1S runs MIUI version 5, which is based on Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. The UI is very iOS inspired, so there's no app drawer as such to list all your apps. Instead, all of your apps and widgets are located just across home screens, and it's an endless number of 
the screens that you can add. You can just long press on the screen to add a widget or more app shortcuts uh, or change the wallpaper, or even change the effects of uh, as you scroll around the home screen. Personally, I'm not a big fan of having all of my apps and widgets on home screen. But you can always install a third-party launcher in case you don't like the UI. Apart from that, most things about the MI UI are very customizable. For example, you can customize the quick settings tab right over here so you can choose what to display here and what not to. Xiaomi also has a huge collection of themes that you can choose to or download from their store. You can even set long press actions for the capacitive keys as well. Apart from that, there's also a light mode available which is a much simpler UI. It's basically a UI meant for people who have very bad eyesight. Apart from that, the Redmi 1S only comes with Xiaomi's own apps and a couple of built-in Android apps as well. Otherwise, apart from the home screen and the themes, this is pretty much exactly the same as any other Android phone, at least in terms of UI. There's the same set of organizer apps, the same set of Google app, and the same settings available as well. The key thing to point out here is that MIUI is really fast on this phone. Everything is very smooth and very snappy, which is more than I can say for most Android OEM skins. Alright, moving on to camera. The camera on the Redmi 1S is an 8 megapixel BSI camera sensor with autofocus, f2.2 aperture, and a single LED flash. Normally it goes without saying that a camera nowadays on a smartphone has autofocus, but there are phones like the Lumia 530 at the same price range that don't have autofocus. Most phones in this price range also only have a 5 megapixel camera, so it's really awesome that Xiaomi has put in a full 8 megapixel camera right over here. And if that wasn't enough, the camera can also record at full HD video uh, at 1080p, which is really amazing for a phone at this price range. There's also a front-facing 1.6 megapixel camera for selfies, which is appreciated because some phones in this price range also don't have a front-facing camera at all. Apart from that, there's plenty of scene modes available that you can choose from right from here. There's a panorama mode, an HDR mode, there's also um, a bunch of settings and filters that you can go through. All in all, image quality was really good, especially for a phone in this price range. Autofocus was very quick and there was almost no shutter lag at all when taking a picture. Pictures taken in good lighting have accurate color reproduction and plenty of detail. But as the light gets darker, the image quality drops as well. Still, the image quality from this camera is better than anything else you get on any other phone at this price range. As always, you can check out camera samples right over at UnleashThePhones.com. Alright, moving on, call quality on the Redmi 1S was surprisingly decent. The phone did a really good job of holding signal strength even in low signal areas. That being said, the loudspeaker at the back is decent at best. It's not really very loud at all, but audio via headphones is much better and Xiaomi also has a whole bunch of onboard audio presets that you can improve to get better audio quality out of any headphones that you plug in. The audio quality is actually pretty impressive, especially when you use the Xiaomi Piston earphones that you can purchase separately. Just so you know, I have a review of those headphones also that you can check out at the link below. Moving on to battery life, the Xiaomi Redmi 1S has a 2000mAh removable battery as I showed you earlier. That battery can very easily go through an entire day's worth of usage and the MIUI handles power management very well. Regardless, you will be able to reach home at the end of the day with some battery life on this phone. To conclude, the Xiaomi Redmi 1S is an exceptional phone for the price. If you're on a really tight budget and looking for a great phone, there's just simply nothing else better than this phone right now. It's also really heartening to know that Xiaomi hasn't tried to cut corners while making this phone. At the same price tag, you can get the Moto E, the Nokia Lumia 530, or the Asus Zen 44, all of which have their own pros and cons, but neither of them are as much value for money as the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. In fact, I'd even say that the Xiaomi Redmi 1S is the phone to beat at this price range. You get a sharp, bright screen, decent camera, mostly lag-free performance, solid build quality, and day-long battery life, all at a very affordable price tag. Frankly, the only thing missing on the Redmi 1S is that it's not running the latest version of Android. All in all, the Xiaomi Redmi 1S is an incredibly capable smartphone at an incredibly low price tag. So that's what I think of the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know right in the comment section below. Or check out the blog post over at UnleashThePhones.com. If you like this video, hit that like button and maybe subscribe because that would be appreciated. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.